I am sharing with you 20 fall crock pot recipes. I love using my crock pot. It is so fun to use it in the fall. The weather is cooler. I'm making a lot more soups and chilies lately, but I'm sharing with you 20 of my favorite fall recipes and I will put them all in the description box. If you wanna make one of the recipes, head to the description box. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. I share with you a lot of crock pot recipes because they're my favorite, but lots of other recipes as well. So let me share with you these great 20 fall crock pot recipes. This crock pot recipe is just perfect for fall. It is going to be a sweet potato chili. So I have some ground turkey that I cooked up. You can use ground beef. I have a diced up sweet potato. I have kidney beans washed and drained, great northern beans washed and drained, a can of tomato sauce. I'm going to add in some seasonings as well. I have garlic powder, I have some ground cumin, I have some paprika, and I'm going to use about a teaspoon of each, but um, go to your taste, and some chili powder as well. So um, season to taste, you can do salt and pepper as well. I have two cups of beef broth, and this chili is just so perfect for fall with the sweet potatoes, and I am a huge fan of different types of chili. So like I said, I'm using ground turkey, but you can use ground beef as well, and I'm going to cook this on low for eight hours. You can do it on high for four hours as well. And then this is just a wonderful dump and go crock pot meal that is super easy and really, really great for the fall. You will love this one. I like to serve it. You can add a few little toppings on if you'd like. I love adding some toppings onto my chili, sour cream, sometimes some avocado, um, but add the toppings of your choosing. I'm going to do a pot roast, another fall favorite comfort food in our house. So I have my roast and I'm going to add in two cans of cream of mushroom. This is going to help make a really, really yummy gravy for this. I'm going to add in one cup of beef broth. And this, like I said, just makes a really great gravy. I love gravies with these kinds of meats, makes them so nice and tender. So I'm using this Lipton onion soup mix packet. I love using these packets for a lot of different things, but it is really perfect in this pot roast. Super easy, just some ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry, except for the roast, of course. Um, and now you can put some carrots, and I'm also gonna put in some potatoes, but it's definitely optional, up to you. But we love carrots and potatoes, and they cook so well in the crock pot with this roast. So this just makes a really great dinner that is ready at the end of the day when you come home from a long day of work or activities and you can just have a really awesome meal ready to go with everything. The meat, the veggies, the potatoes. So really, really delicious. And this one is a huge hit. My kids love pot roast and they love the carrots this way also. I'm going to do some stuffed peppers and stuffed peppers in the crock pot are so easy and they turn out so great. I love stuffed peppers. So I have some foil as you can see on the bottom of my crock pot and then a little bit of water as well. So I'm going to add, I'm going to cut the top off of my peppers and you can use any color you'd like. My favorite is orange. So I usually always do an extra orange one, but you can do any color you'd like. Cut the tops off and add them into the crock pot on top of the foil, or you can use a rack if you have one to put onto the bottom of the crock pot. So I have my ground turkey, I have my frozen cauliflower rice, and then this is my favorite Southwest blend. If you've been around my channel, you know I use this a lot. So I have one cup of this frozen Southwest blend, and I have some taco seasoning. So you can add in one tablespoon or two tablespoons, or you can even use a packet of uh, taco seasoning if you'd like, but I just love this um, little big container that I have because we do a lot of tacos. So I'm um, just gonna give this a stir and mix it all together, and this will be ready to fill into the peppers. So I'm going to 
fill each pepper with the turkey mixture and then these will be ready to go. I'll top with a little bit of cheese as well because you definitely have to have a little bit of cheese on top. And um, these cook so easily. I'm gonna cook these on high or on, I'm sorry, on low for eight hours. We can definitely do high for four hours. And this is just a really, really awesome way to cook stuffed peppers. I love that you don't have to pre-cook the meat. It is going to cook with the peppers in the crock pot. So that's what makes this really easy. You know how much I love easy crock pot recipes. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe because I am always sharing my easy crock pot dump and go recipes. They are definitely my favorite. So these are ready to go. I'm going to turn them on to low for eight hours and then they will be so good and just a really, really awesome meal. I love stuffed peppers. You have your veggies, you have your protein. You can use regular rice instead of cauliflower rice on this one and just a really awesome meal. So I'm going to be doing a Santa Fe chicken. We do lots of different Tex-Mex style Southwest flavors and lots of taco seasoning as you can tell in our house. So lots of recipes with this kind of stuff. So I'm going to be using two tablespoons of taco seasoning in this one. I have my chicken, my beans, corn, rotel, and I'm going to give this a little bit of a mix. This is just a really, really easy, really easy dump and go. And we love this one. You can serve it on a burrito. You can serve it. Or I'm just going to serve it with a side of rice. But really easy, really great flavors. And this is just, this one's on repeat. It's not the prettiest of meals, but it definitely is nice and healthy and easy. So that's what we like. So I'm going to be doing for this one an orange chicken. We do a lot of chicken in our house. We have chicken a lot of nights. Um, so I like to mix it up with different flavors. So I'm going to be using this sugar-free um, orange jelly. And then I have also another, a sugar-free barbecue sauce. I love this brand G Hughes with all their sugar-free sauces. They are all amazing. So one cup of the barbecue sauce and this is such a yummy sweet chicken. It has so much flavor with this orange marmalade and I'm going to add my veggies into this as well. So you can do your whatever veggies you prefer. I have broccoli. I'm going to spray it with some oil and then spray with a little bit of garlic powder as well. So I like adding the veggies on top of my crock pot so that everything is cooking all at the same time. That just makes dishes easier as well. But here's the broccoli and the chicken ready to go. I have a side of rice. We do a lot of rice. You can do a side of noodles as well, or you don't even really need to do a side. You can just do a side salad for this one. So adding in my broccoli and the chicken, really great sauce. I like to garnish with a little bit of sesame seed and then this one's ready to go. So I'm going to do a white chicken chili. I just love chilies, like I mentioned at the beginning. This one's really great. It's got heavy whipping cream, got um, better than bouillon from my chicken broth, kidney beans, great northern beans, onion, and then it has this, this ranch seasoning mix is really what makes it, I think, absolutely delicious. So I'm going to use two chicken breasts. I have my great northern beans washed and drained my kidney beans washed and drained. I have my onion diced up. I have a packet of chili mix, or you can just use regular seasonings to make up a, a chili seasoning, but this packet is just very convenient. And then I have my packet of ranch seasoning mix as well. And I really do think that this ranch seasoning mix is the game changer in this one. It's really so delicious. I have my better than bouillon that will make my chicken broth. I'm going to use two cups and then I'm going to add in to make this nice and a little bit creamy is the heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to be using a cup of heavy whipping cream and then this one is ready to go. Super easy, dump and go. The chicken turns out so tender and it just shreds so easily after this has been cooking all day. So you can cook this on high for eight hours or low for four hours. And then at the end of the day, it just shreds in the crock pot. And this one is amazing. I really love this one. So I'm going to do a chicken Parmesan in the crock pot. We love Parmesan type dishes, anything with spaghetti sauce. 
is a hit in my house. So I have my chicken breast diced up. You can do two to three chicken breasts. I have Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon, but season to taste. You can also add in some salt and pepper. I don't add in salt and pepper while I'm cooking because my different people in my family, my kids, they don't like a lot of salt and pepper. So we usually put that on at the end. I'm adding in my spaghetti sauce. I have Parmesan cheese as well. I'm going to add about a tablespoon just sprinkled on top. I have some shredded mozzarella that I will top onto the top of everything and then this will be ready to go. So simple, so easy. I like to dice up my chicken ahead of time and I freeze it in containers and then when I'm ready I defrost it before I cook it but it just makes things really easy if I'm going to do a lot of crock pot meals I have some diced up chicken ready to go but you don't have to dice your chicken up I just like to do it this way so it makes some smaller pieces and it's just easier to cook for us so this parmesan chicken is delicious add on some more cheese and it's a really yummy meal so this is going to be um, a chicken pot pie crock pot. I have my better than bouillon that I love. I use this for everything I use chicken broth for. Sour cream, cream of chicken, potato um, that I will dice up, onion diced up, my chicken. You can do two to three chicken breasts and this is just a really really good fall comfort food. So I have my chicken breast. I have my cream of chicken soups. Um, two of them for this. It's going to make a really good gravy type sauce for this one. My better than bouillon, I'm going to use one cup um, and then I have this frozen mixed vegetable blend. So I'm going to add two cups of this blend. You can use your favorite vegetable blend for this one. Um, give this a little stir. I am going to uh, dice up my potatoes, um, kind of small, kind of a small medium size. I'm dicing up my onion as well mix these into this creamy crock pot meal and then this will be ready to cook. So you can do um, high for four hours or low for eight hours and this just comes out so good. It is delicious, a wonderful comfort food. So at the end now I'm adding in my sour cream, one cup of sour cream and it just mixes in really well into the nice warm um, chicken pot pie and so I have made some Graham's biscuits in the oven to top onto the chicken. I'm going to do some chicken drumsticks. This is one of my favorite ways to do chicken drumsticks. So I'm going to just pat them with just a paper towel and add them into the crock pot. I'm just going to do this whole batch so I'm totally going to load this crock pot up with everything and I just I absolutely love how these cook in the crock pot. They are so easy. I'm adding on some olive oil and then I'm going to add on our favorite seasoning. This is called Cow Camp and it's a garlic seasoning. But you can do your favorite seasoning or just some garlic powder, paprika, um, the seasonings that you prefer on chicken. And then these are just going to cook and become so nice and tender all day and ready to go. My kids love drumsticks, but they take a long time to cook, I feel like, in the oven. And then they're like messy on the barbecue. So this way is just really, really easy. And they turn out so good. So I'm going to add them onto my baking sheet. And I'm going to put them on broil for five minutes in the oven to give that skin some crisp. So I'm going to do a butter chicken. This makes just the best sauce, this butter chicken simmer sauce. It is so, so tasty. And I'm gonna add in some tomato sauce, some evaporated milk, some seasonings, and some onion. I have onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika as well. So this sauce, like I said, is just really, really good and tons and tons of flavor. It's not very spicy, it's a little mild. You can definitely get some butter chicken sauces that have a little kick to it, but um, this one is pretty mild. You can definitely add in some more seasonings if you'd like, if you wanna make it a little bit spicier. But I'm just adding in about a teaspoon or less of the se each seasoning. And now I'm going to add in this butter chicken simmer sauce. This brand makes really great sauces. If you can find them at your grocery store, uh, definitely give some of them a try. I have a can of tomato sauce. 
and then I'm going to I'm going to add this in and then I'm also going to add in a can of evaporated milk and this is going to be such a good I love the consistency of this sauce it's creamy um, it's not too thin or too thick so it's really great after this has been cooking in this yummy sauce all day you can do the same high for eight hours or low I'm sorry low for four low for eight hours and high for four hours and these um, just turn out it turns out so good the chicken turns out amazing and then this sauce it just it can't be beat it is such a good sauce if you like Indian type flavors this sauce is definitely a seriously really really good one I love to do it with some rice to soak up this yummy sauce so like I said the sauce it's not too thin it's not too thick either I just think it's a really great consistency for this sauce definitely delicious and a huge hit in our house so I'm going to do a taco pasta like I mentioned earlier we do a lot of taco flavored Mexican dishes so I have my taco meat I have four cups of chicken broth I have a can of Rotel tomatoes I use this one that is diced tomatoes with green chilies. I have my favorite Southwest blend. Once again, just frozen. I always keep one of these at least stocked in our freezer. So one cup of the frozen blend of veggies. And I'm going to give this a stir when I cook this. And then, like I said, this is going to be a pasta, but I'm going to put the pasta in at the end. So this has been cooking. You can... This one doesn't take quite as long because everything is cooked and ready to go. So you can do high for two hours or low for four hours and this will be ready to go. And then you can add in your noodles. So I'm doing elbow noodles. A smaller noodle is really good with this one, a macaroni or an elbow noodle. And I'm going to add in some cheese as well. This is going to be nice and cheesy and delicious. So I have one cup of Fiesta blend. I'm going to give this a stir and I'm gonna put the lid back on for about 30 minutes and then these noodles will cook up and make a really awesome just kind of Mexican style pasta really good tons of flavors and I just love it with the pasta already in here so I'm going to be doing this is one of my favorites it is with buffalo wild wing parmesan garlic sauce this sauce is really good it has a kick to it it's got a little bit of spiciness to it just tons and tons of flavor so i, I use half a bottle of that sauce i'm going to use a brick of cream cheese i have two to three chicken breasts diced up i'm going to use uh, one cup of grated parmesan cheese i'm going to sprinkle that over and then this is going to make a really like thick creamy sauce full and full of flavor so good so on low for eight hours and here it is it is oh my gosh so yummy so the sauce I just stir the sauce a lot just to break up those clumps from the cream cheese so just keep stirring and keep stirring and it will all come out nice and smooth I'm going to kind of shred up the chicken a little bit get all this delicious sauce coated onto all of the chicken and I serve it with some protein pasta, barilla pasta, and it is, it's amazing. It is definitely one of my favorites. So I'm going to do some chicken thighs. I'm adding the whole pack of chicken thighs. I love make, making a big batch of this for meal prep for the week, ready to go. So I'm going to use some honey for the sauce. I'm going to do a quarter cup of honey. And this makes it just absolutely delicious. I love the sweetness and the stickiness of honey. It's so good. So you can do liquid aminos or soy sauce. I have a half a cup, and then I have a half a cup of ketchup as well. And then this sauce is just, it's delicious. It makes this chicken turn out so, so good. And this is all you need for this one, just this sauce and the chicken. And like I said, I just love making a big batch of this for meal prep for the week. And we can eat these on, you can dice it up onto salads, dice, put it on sandwiches. You can eat it plain. We just, we eat a lot of chicken. And this is just a really awesome one with different flavors. And chicken breasts are, or I'm sorry, chicken thighs are definitely a huge hit. You can do this with chicken breasts as well. Um, but we like to mix it up every once in a while and do some chicken thighs. So I'm going to put this on high for four hours and be ready to go. It comes out so tender. 
So I'm going to do a sausage potato, cheesy sausage potato crock pot. This one's really great for fall with the sausage and the potatoes. So I'm just, I diced up my potatoes. I diced up my onion. I'm gonna add in this can of cheddar cheese, like cream of cheddar cheese, and just one can, and it is just makes a really good sauce. Super easy. I mean, it's not getting any easier than this. And I have a cup of milk. So really just four ingredients, and this one's ready to go. Um, my kids really like sausage, so this is a hit. And um, it's potatoes cook so well in the crock pot, so I love adding potatoes into some of these dishes as well. This one is really, really good and easy. So I'm going to do a chicken marsala. I have my chicken breast diced up. I have mushroom. I'm going to do a tablespoon of minced garlic. And I love chicken marsala. It's definitely one of my favorites. So I have this marsala cooking wine. I'm going to do a cup of the marsala cooking wine. And this has just a lot of flavor to it. Super good. And you can do this with um, chicken thighs as well. But I have it with chicken breasts. So I'm doing half a cup of water. I have some heavy whipping cream to make this nice and creamy. So I'm going to do a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream. And this is going to be um, just a really great sauce. So I have cornstarch. You can do, um, depending on how thick you want this sauce, you can do two to three tablespoons of cornstarch. And this will make the sauce, just give it a really good consistency. It'll be thick, but it'll still be really like good and saucy. So give it a little stir to mix all of this up and then this will be ready to go and just a really awesome different way to cook chicken. Like I said, we eat a lot of chicken. So just mixing up with different flavors is just awesome. And so this one's really great to add to your list if you do a lot of chicken and you need some new different flavors to add to it. So it just comes out perfect. I love how the mushrooms cook in with everything as well. So give this one a stir, you can serve it with rice or with some noodles and it's delicious. So I'm going to do some meatballs. We do a lot of meatballs. My kids love meatballs. So this is going to be a Swedish meatball recipe. So I have my cream of mushroom. A can of cream of mushroom is gonna give it a really awesome gravy type. I have my beef broth. I'm gonna do two cups of beef broth to cover these mushroom or cover these meatballs. And meatballs in the crock pot, they turned out so nice and tender, which is awesome. So you can use regular meatballs. I use frozen because my family loves them and they're so easy. I have Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna do two tablespoons, and that just gives it a really awesome flavor as well. And I'm going to add in a packet of brown gravy mix, which is just, I love gravy mixes, makes things really easy and gives it some really awesome flavor. I'm gonna add in some extra um, onion powder as well and some cornstarch to thicken up this sauce. I just love Swedish meatballs. They are one of my favorites and definitely a huge hit with us in our house because my kids are such meatball fans. So two tablespoons of cornstarch, you can do two to three, give this a stir and then this will be ready to go. You can serve this with some noodles or some rice um, and a nice little side salad. This is really great. So I'm going to cook these on low for eight hours and they will be ready to go at the end of the day and just absolutely so yummy. So tasty and the meatballs like I said they're so tender you can definitely make your own meatballs but these just turn out really good and they're super easy so I'm going to be doing some steak bites for this so I have steak I have some seasoning that I'm going to add in I'm going to do some garlic powder about a teaspoon to taste and I'm going to add in some onion powder as well again to taste so about a teaspoon for us you can do some salt and pepper if you'd like, I'm gonna do a cream of mushroom to help give this nice and creamy. I'm gonna do some beef broth. I have two cups of beef broth. And this just cooking in the broth and the cream of mushroom just really helps make this 
these steak bites nice and tender at the end of the day. So it's a really easy way to do some steak in the crock pot. It turns out great. This is a huge hit with my family. So I just have to make some veggies for the side. You can throw in some carrots and potatoes in this as well if you'd like and then everything will be cooked together kind of like a pot roast but I just have some rice and then a side of veggies and this one's really really good. So I'm going to be doing um, one of my favorites is an onion soup chicken. So I have chicken, I have cream of chicken and this one has, it has a lot of flavor with this onion soup mix. I used this earlier in my crock pot um, pot roast recipe and like I said I just love onion soup mix. It just has so much flavor and is so good in really a lot of different recipes. So I have two cups of chicken broth. I'm going to give that all a little stir and then it is ready to go. Just a really easy dump and go and this one is definitely one of my favorites. So the, the gravy turns out really good. It is really tasty. So I like to do rice with these kind of gravy type chicken dishes to soak up some of that sauce on the rice. It's just always really, really good. We do a lot of broccoli, so I have a side of broccoli. But now I'm gonna add on these French fried onions and this is really what makes this dish. These French fried onions really give it so much flavor and the crunch is just, it's so tasty. It is just definitely one of my favorites. So I'm going to be doing a pork loin in the crock pot. So I have an onion that I'm going to slice up and I'm gonna put the onion, I'm gonna spread it out over the bottom of the crock pot. I'm gonna add in my pork loin. So this one's already seasoned and we love this one, it's really great, but you can get one and season it yourself. I have two cups of chicken broth or you can use vegetable broth also that I'm gonna put on the bottom and I'm going to cook this on low. Um, you can do about six hours on this, a little less than eight hours, because it comes out so, so great. We absolutely love this one. You just slice it up and add on your favorite sides or a salad. Really, really yummy and so, so super easy. So for this one, I'm going to be doing um, a chicken Alfredo. We just love chicken, like I always mention, and so this one's gonna be with some Alfredo sauce. I have a tablespoon of minced garlic. I have some regular Alfredo sauce. This is the brand that we prefer, um, Bertoli. So I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna add in some grated Parmesan cheese. I have a half of a cup of grated Parmesan. I'm going to add that on the top. I will give everything a little stir, mix up these sauces and the cheese. And then I like to really like to add in some veggies as well so that everything is cooked all at the same time and I don't have lots of other dishes to clean after I'm cooking everything separately. So I'm putting in the Brussels sprouts on top. I love this seasoning. It's this Kinder's Parmesan garlic seasoning. So I'm just adding that on top. And then all of this will cook together and be ready to go for dinner. So, so super good. You can substitute the Brussels sprouts for green beans if you like, or broccoli as well. I know some people don't like Brussels sprouts, but um, I really do. They're um, a hit with me and my husband. My kids aren't really into them, but you can definitely substitute them out. So this sauce is really good with some noodles, adding in the chicken and the Brussels sprouts, and then we are ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed these 20 fall crock pot meals. I love using my crock pot and I love sharing my recipes with you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. Check out some of my other videos when you have a chance and I will see you all next time. Hope you have a really great rest of your day.